I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory. This radio, tested by me and reviewed by Rick Lindquist, WW3DE, shows a, an improved screen, a more colorful screen, uh, but it does lack the uh, S meter here. We're used to the analog meter. It's built into the display here. You get used to that pretty quickly. And the big difference between this particular transceiver, the IC7600, and its predecessor, the uh, ICOM 756 Pro 3. <laughs> you know, some people are calling this the Pro, the, uh, the Pro 4. But the main difference between the two radios are, is that this one contains roofing filters. And a choice of three different roofing filters, 15 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, and 3 kilohertz. And think of the roofing filter as the first line of defense against strong adjacent signals. Um, this really improves the ability to block a strong station nearby and also reduces IMD products, intermodulation distortion products. And that's the mixing of two signals spaced uh, equally apart down the band a bit that appears on the desired frequency you're trying to receive on. The IC7600's uh, menu uh, is set up just, uh, just like the Pro 3, the Pro 2, and the Pro. So if you already have one of those radios, it's going to be fairly easy to uh, understand. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM at the ARRL Laboratory.